Since the beginning of recorded time, mankind has seen unidentified flying objects in the sky. Have extraterrestrials influenced the course of human events? Confront the specter that has haunted our collective imagination throughout history. For thousands of years, we have gazed in awe at the night sky. In watching their slow yet relentless movement across the heavens, people discovered that the changing pattern of the stars precisely matched the ebb and flow of seasons. This allowed for the development of the calendar and the rise of agriculture. But some objects in the sky followed neither pattern nor orderly path, seeming to defy the natural laws that bind all things. These unidentified flying objects, or UFOs, challenged human understanding, provoking a quest that continues to this day. You'd have to say that UFO evidence goes back uh, as far as man has left any records at all, because even in uh, ancient cave art, 20,000 years ago or so, in France and Spain, there are objects, uh, drawings, that look like uh, fl modern flying saucers. So you'd have to go back that far if you wanted to start some point in time when uh, the first UFO report was recorded. Forever frozen in silence and in stone, these provocative drawings raise questions which are debated to this day. For some, these shapes represent gods or ancestral spirits. But for others, they are ancient depictions of spacecraft, ancient aliens. Texts from the world's earliest civilizations, including Sumeria some 5,000 years ago, mention strange aerial phenomena and the beings who controlled them. There are ancient records in which people describe different kinds of flying objects which they have seen. In some cases, the people were describing what they understood to be flying vehicles piloted by various categories of living beings. There are written accounts which describe this in great detail. The images are provocative and controversial. A lot relates to how you interpret the signs that we see. Is a sketch on the wall an alien in a space helmet? Is it a diving helmet? Or is it just a decorative piece of work from a science fiction writer of several thousand years ago? So the further back you go, the harder it is to interpret. Despite increasing public support for the notion that UFOs may have been visiting the Earth since the dawn of history, the scientific community is overwhelmingly skeptical about the subject. Ancient people saw weird things in the sky and they were convinced that these were symbols of God's intentions. Their lives were controlled by the gods. And in every case that I am aware of, there is an alternate explanation. It could have been a meteor, which they didn't understand. It could have been some ball lightning. It could have been any kind of thing that was just totally unknown to primitive man, and so they always interpret these things in terms of supernatural. Despite scientific skepticism, the annals of human affairs contain many curious examples of strange objects seen in the sky. One of the earliest written records of an encounter with a UFO comes from Egypt, more than 3,500 years ago. There's a story about Tutmosis three Egyptian pharaoh who saw circles of fire in the sky and uh, started off with one. And then the report says that there were a few days later there were many of them in the sky. 
and uh, he was, was so impressed that this was uh, recorded on a papyrus and uh, considered uh, very momentous. In the year 22 of the third month of the winter, a circle of fire appeared in the sky. After some days, it became more numerous and shone with the brightness of the sun, extending to the very limits of the heavens. The records of Pharaoh Tutmosis, 1480 BCE. Centuries later, during his invasion of Asia, the mighty Greek leader Alexander the Great is chronicled as having witnessed UFOs. While crossing a river in 329 BC, Alexander and his men observe what are described as gleaming silver shields in the sky. The objects repeatedly swoop down on the column of soldiers, scattering men and horses in panic. Seven years later, while attacking the Phoenician city of Tyre in the eastern Mediterranean, Alexander again encounters UFOs. Recorded by observers on both sides of the conflict, one of the objects suddenly shoots a beam of light at the city wall, which crumbles into dust, allowing Alexander and his troops to easily breach the defenses and take the city. The passage of centuries leaves us with little proof of whether the events really took place, or were merely the products of fertile and imaginative minds. Remember the working hypothesis for historians for hundreds of years has always been that mankind is alone, that there are no intruders from outer space, that there were no advanced civilizations, that our civilization, and each generation thinks this, is at the peak. We're it. Well, unless you throw out those assumptions, there's no way you're going to get at the truth of these old accounts. Many of the accounts are mystifying indeed. Medieval Europe was the scene of a mysterious incident in 1463 when a strange slab-like object reportedly appeared in the sky. Surrounded by flames and a bright light, it glided eerily above the landscape. This drawing was made by Hermann Schaden, a witness to the event. A century later, another witness recorded this unearthly occurrence above the skies of Nuremberg, Germany. On the morning of April 14, 1561, huge round cylinders were said to have appeared above the city, 